I think we're going to do a little Q&A, is that correct? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. We have ten minutes for a Q&A. Do you guys have any questions for any of us up on stage? You can stay up here, Allison, if you want. Come hang out. Come be friends with us. Just sit down. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything that you saw tonight for any of us, or just a question that you want to pose to, I guess, people here, because I feel like, you know, anything, we can help each other figure things yes. out. Where do you see the I have mixed feelings on YouTube in five to ten years. Um, if I'm a, I'm a, uh, I, I don't know. I feel as though YouTube is going towards more old media, so I worry that people in general on YouTube who are more casual um, will be marginalized, which bothers me. Um, so I don't know. I hope that the women that I watch on YouTube and that I like will continue to do things in entertainment, whether it's on YouTube or not. Um, and I would like to like see them go and do concert tours or do some stand-up comedy or have like real talks about issues at events. Um, you know, I, I I don't see any reason why women who are powerful now won't be powerful in five years, but maybe in a different format. I agree. I mean, I think the hesitation for where the site uh, could go is is real for a lot of us. Um, and you know, if if there's still a place for people that maybe aren't as produced or have as much money behind them or, or a, as big of a team. Um, for me personally, I feel like there is a division but obviously between traditional media and new media. Um, and we often don't understand each other and we're very confused by each other, but I don't think that we have to be enemies. I think that one of the things in the community is that we get scared that we're going to lose like our funniest people and our best people because they're going to go get a TV show or they're going to get um, a record deal or something. And I think that we shouldn't be afraid of success. And we shouldn't limit people to uh, to living the lives that they want and, and living the dreams that they want in the way that they want because we want to hold on to them and make them very niche. Um, I think that there is an audience um, out there for everyone. I think you're going to find the audience that you want and you're going to find the people that should see your videos. And I think that's going to continue with women on YouTube. I think that we're just going to become more, uh, hopefully more of us in the top 100, um, making really cool stuff. And, uh, and, you know, I, I look at some of my friends in this site who are, you know, getting book deals and are, you know, starting clothing lines and are doing things that maybe in their position they never would have had the chance to do. And this site has afforded them the opportunity to do that. I think that's only going to continue and we're only going to see the people that we love um, hopefully break into mainstream things, but also, you know, keep their core audience here and, uh, and, and balance the two worlds. I don't think that you have to go one or the other. Next question. She's the <laughs> Oh, hi. Hi. I saw you at, uh, with my phone on as well. Yeah. Time <laughs> zone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, I know that the first video that you showed was filmed in 2008. Yeah, something around there, 2007, 2008. Yeah. So, in, like, in an age where everything is instant, you know, we have instant gratification sort of like, okay, I'm bored, I'll just go on Tumblr for hours and I have everything right away, you know, knowing that the feminist movement, I know that's sort of a taboo kind of word, like, ooh, uh, <laughs> took like, you know, over two centuries to develop to where it is now, like, what would you say to someone who, who says that, okay, well, that video was posted in 2008 or whatever, and the issues that she's talking about are still relevant, so what's the point mm. in, in, you know, doing anything about it. Because all the issues are still, they're still, you, you know, small picture, you don't see a lot of changes happening because we're still talking. Oh, <laughs> I have a lot of words to say. <laughs> 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 microphone. <laughs> because in the small picture, you don't see a lot of changes happening. Yes. So there's not really that sort of, oh, well, this is helping somebody, or oh, well, this is making a huge difference to like this school or this town or this whatever yeah. so let's keep doing it yeah so like what do you say to that sort of level I mean of it can be disheartening for for something to come out and for there to be an issue and you you want to be dealt with right away we are you know totally in the instant gratification we want things fixed right away and we're not used to having to wait um, I think that you know some fights are going to be slower than others and I think that if we if you want change and you want things to happen you have to you have to stay on it a slow burn, you know? And yeah, the issues that were relevant in 2008 are still relevant in 2013. But there are also a lot of things that have changed. And there are a lot of um, opportunities and positions for, for women on this site and off that weren't around in 2008. And I think that it just takes time for us to kind of, you know, to prove ourselves. And 
it's a fight. It's a fight. I don't think it's, it's going to go away quickly. Um, and I think that it's just important for people, whether they're vloggers or musicians or comedians, to kind of keep making stuff because what you don't realize is that there are probably 13-year-olds logging onto the site that weren't around in 2008 to watch those kinds of things. So it's important that we expose them to that and that we take those conversations and make them new again so that they can find that content and hopefully make them think a little bit more about what's going on because that's, you know, the next generation of this. So we have a chance to influence the next generation of YouTubers and make them think a little bit more about what they're putting out there and what they want to see. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to ostracize Briarly. I was just looking at, you know. You can look at me all you want. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I, I no, don't feel yeah, out. You don't feel left out? No, I'm okay. Um, my, I have a, my only thought about it is I think that, I think that the idea that because you can't do something, no, no, no. I think that the idea that you can't do something because it's, um, because you're not going to be able to do it, like, as well as it can possibly do- be done, or, like, immediately, is, um, unfortunate as a thought, like, we really undervalue baby steps. And I feel like anything worth doing or worth creating takes time, usually. You know, I've, I've been around 23 years, and I like me, okay? But it took a damn long time to be here, um, as a human, talking in front of you. And um, so I guess I don't expect that, I don't expect that anything, um, anything, that, anything that is don't. equally as complex as <laughs> no, I am. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to shut you down. It's just I don't feel like anything that's as, com- as complex as I consider myself to be would take less time than I have to get to this point. And it's, a, it's something like that, which affects more people. I feel like that's obviously going to take longer. But that doesn't mean that you need to stop trying. Yeah. I think it's a real concern, but I think that we, we all have to be kind to ourselves and kind of give ourselves time to hopefully push forward that movement and, and, and help people see why it's important that there are more women visible on this site. Um, and, you know, if that takes five years of making videos that people see, that it takes five years, it takes 10, 15, whatever, um, there are a lot of us that aren't going away anytime soon, and there's a whole new generation coming up that is going to continue the fight. So. Okay. Three minutes. You got a lot of questions. Three minutes. Okay. okay. Let's 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 back. Should we quickly? Should we do should we do like individual questions then? And so just just one of us answers and then yeah, let's three. go for it. Okay, cool. Okay, go. Uh, okay. So first off, thanks for here. that combination of videos. It was really good. There's a lot of stuff I felt like I wasn't seeing. You're welcome. So yeah, thanks. Um, um, yeah. So this is kind of a tough one for three minutes. Okay. Um, <laughs> basically. The state of YouTube, there's sort of like this one-dimensional perception of women on YouTube. Do you think that that's something that can be addressed by women, or that the guys of YouTube should start doing something about it? I think that anybody who feels strongly about an issue um, and wants to make a positive change should go for it. I, I think that with like with feminism kind of things, that it can be um, sometimes guys are shut out and. That's not right. Like, yes, a man is not going to know what it feels like to be a woman, obviously. But if somebody's trying to help you and they genuinely, and like it's from a good place, like, don't get mad at people for ignorance. Get mad at people for willful ignorance. Uh, and don't get mad at people for trying to help. Okay, cool. Um, so you talked a lot about the need for women to be fierce and honest. Do you think that's now problematized by the fact that YouTube is a lot of people's jobs and if they say something, they might not have a meal to eat later that week, or, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that that is always, again, it's always a concern. I think, you you know, especially if you're doing things like brand deals, you're doing whatever, you have to make sure that you're, you're carrying your voice through. I think it's getting easier. I, I think that when we first started and it started becoming a career, that it was really hard to talk to uh, companies and say, this is what I do and this is what works because they want to just put, the, I just want to take your audience, I want to take it. I don't, I don't care about what you're doing. And I think that companies are becoming more aware that there's a reason why these people are successful and tapping into that means cooperating and compromising with those people because apparently, creatively, they are doing something very right. Um, so I think that there is that concern, but I also think there's always going to be people that kind of shy away from that and are going to do whatever the hell they want. And I think those are the people to definitely look to and follow. Thank you. Okay. Last question. Last question. Sorry. Hit right us up on Tumblr. We'll answer all your questions after the show, I promise. I don't ask me things on Tumblr. Ask like, me things on Tumblr. Okay. Bye. Every time I answer one thing, I get Bye, everybody. Hi. Andrew. I only have a couple of minutes, so if go for it. Any questions? I'm going to try to keep it short. Okay. Um, so I'm going to ask you guys to do a quick 
Everybody here deserves what they want. Hard work will pay off. Passion and hard work. And I'm kind of scared right now, so I'm going to... Don't be scared. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, and everybody, be kind to one another. You guys are all amazing. Thank you. Uh -huh. That's a great way to end the show, I think. <laughs>